three key questions about the role of children. One, do they get it if challenged? Are they as susceptible as adults? Two, if they do get it, are they as likely to, be, to get ill? And three, if they do get it, are they likely to transmit? And so for the first question on the susceptibility of children, the evidence is quite mixed. Um, from a, a variety of studies though, they're starting to be hints um, and starting to be evidence that children are less likely to acquire infection than adults. Although, as I said, this is, the, this is information coming from a variety of different study types and is by no means in agreement, but that is our current thinking that there is some evidence that children are slightly less likely to acquire infection. There's very good evidence that if children are infected, they are less likely to have severe outcomes. So there's um, more asymptomatic infections, more mild infections, and um, lower, much, much lower risk of death, much lower in children. And then the third point about the infectiousness of children, as raised previously, if children are more likely to be subclinical infections, so asymptomatic or very, very mild, we, it's very difficult to determine how infectious those infections are. And um, there is a little bit of evidence starting to appear that, that there is, as John, as Professor Edmonds noted, a, a possibility of lower infection from these groups, but it's, this is very early in our understanding and we need more studies to, to really pin this down because it's so important. So we, we think that children are less likely to get it so far, but it's, it's not certain. We are very certain that children are less likely to have severe outcomes. And there are hints that, that children are less infectious, but it's again, not, not certain. Thank you. Professor Edmonds, so would you like to add anything to that? Yes. Uh, I mean, it's unusual that children uh, don't seem to play much of a role in transmission because for most respiratory viruses and, and uh, bacteria, they, they play a central role in transmission. But for this, they don't seem to. And um, the evidence from that, you can see there's only one documented outbreak associated with a school, which is amazing. And, um, uh, you know, you would normally expect most of the outbreaks to be associated with schools. But yet in the global literature at the moment, and there's been, uh, you know, uh, there's only one documented outbreak. And that was actually in a secondary school with in France with older children so they were all aged 50, 14, 15, 16, 17 years of age so older children um, so the, the role for children in transmission um, does appear to be uh, well you know from, from I have to say of course schools have been closed in most uh, countries from very early on in the outbreaks and so being able to determine outbreaks associated with schools is going to be difficult anyway uh, but still, it's still pretty remarkable that there's only been one outbreak that has been associated with with a school so far. Thank you very much.